Hello everyone. Today we have a very amazing personality with us. His name is Devargo Chakravarti. He is of Chemical Engineering 2024 Pass Out Batch, and he has done many things in life. Some of them are in 2023 gate he has scored 31 All India rank, and not only that, in 2024 gate he scored All India rank of six. So it was a very amazing achievement for him. So let's start a conversation with him. Firstly, I would like to ask you that. uh please introduce yourself and how was your background how was your schooling days and je preparation and, and were you first or second did you stand first or second in school life also or what kind of student you are you are a very studious person or not please say something about that so good afternoon everyone and thank you vishwan for inviting me in this podcast so let's start from the basics of my school life so during school life i was kind of good student but I never was in the top one or two. I usually stood in rank three or rank four in my school days. And in eleven, twelve also, I my, my as my main focus was on J E that time. So I wasn't that much good student according to my school teacher. So yeah. I was I believe that I was kind of good student in terms of academics, but not that much level of like a top top student. So. So uh, in your board exam, you scored really very well, or it was. uh like so that. i can say in two parts that in my class 10th exam i i scored 678 out of 700 and at that time i was 12 in whole west bengal state oh right in the rank wise okay. i just missed in the top 10 rank for just two marks that okay. was chapter chapter but from 11 as as my main focus was on je i could not focus that much to on my 12th level so there was a major setback as i said earlier that there was a major setback in my class 12th level and okay. i could merely score 484 out of 500 in class 12 that is also not that bad it was obviously good one also kind of anyways so 90 plus but anyways so okay. so after that you prepared for je exam during class 12 only and you uh, cleared jadavpur university yes. and after that just when you entered jadavpur university what was your mindset which field do you wanted to pursue in the future how did you pursue forward in the first year so at first when i got the chemical engineering in jadavpur university i still remember the date it was 1st january 2021 i got chemical through the decentralized counseling i was very happy it was the top of the world life feeling yes, and up at at first one or two months i didn't thought about anything in future i was just into the moment into okay. my first year chemical engineering yeah. i was enjoying the journey of being in jadavpur university student but then time passes and we get to know that there are very much things that you need to do in college also it's not yes. like your je days are over your je study is over now it's a oh, new yes. journey so i saw many of my seniors pursuing lines like um, cac they were doing something like coding and um, python java etc etc to be honest i didn't had that much aspiration for coding at that time so i also saw i at that time the gate result of the, that best seniors were released oh. and i saw many of my seniors scoring top ranks in Mm, get time and getting chances in various PSUs, various IITs. Mm. Like we all have that aspiration to come to go to IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, IIT Madras. And I was seeing that our seniors getting placed in uh, in IIT Madras, IIT Bombay, in MTech. So mm. it was a great uh, it was a great motivation for me to start my great gate journey from there. And I chose that it's high time I should prepare for my gate. So mm. in during the second first year second semester, I chose to. be a gate aspirant choose to prepare for gate exam and i started preparing for gate from second year first semester onwards all right so whole past year was uh, spent in exploring different stuffs and yeah. knowing different things so and so you started preparing for gate exam from third semester so after that yeah. how, how did you manage means many people say that uh, if you read semester well you you will be scoring good in gate but it is not true So, how did you manage semester exams and get uh, get preparation together? So, what I did that in chemical engineering, the core subjects of chemical engineering starts from second year. Okay, mm -hmm. so in my third semester, the subjects were fluid mechanics, thermodynamics, and process calculation. If I am not wrong, mm -hmm. so these three subjects were in, in semester exam as well as gate exam. So, what my focus was to complete those subjects for my semester so good. so well that i can grasp the concept for gate level also so right. what i did that i i did the subjects for my gate level solve the gate pyq watch the lectures available on youtube on as, as i prepared for an academy i did from there 
so from an academy and youtube i just prepared my whole subject the concept of the subject mm. and it really helped me in the semester as well so it somehow helped me to get a decent sgpa in semester and prepared my base for the gate exam so i just followed that thing for the next three to four semesters so you, so you took the subscription of an academy plus yes all yes, right sir. so an academy plus and some youtube resources you followed yes, and sir. all right so there was uh, there were certain subjects which are not included in gate syllabus and also it was included in chemical engineering semester how did you study that so that was the most trouble thing i i came across in my college life like the sub there was few subjects that were non non core subjects for chemical engineering like i remember subjects like stent of material machine design material science there are many subjects so mm-hmm. for me that was the reason of my worry in the semester so mm-hmm. what i did that in there was as we know all know that there are two mid semester exam that is known mm-hmm. as class test in yadavpur university and yes. one entrance so i just prepared the in the two three days before the that class test of this exam i only two three days get, only 2 3 days yes, okay for the class test i am um, class test okay okay 2 3 days in our class test so for before class if every class test of those subjects in the 2 3 days i used to stop my gate preparation and focus on those subjects properly like solving the pyqs taking the most important questions like i didn't complete 800% of any subjects for gate for mm-hmm. for college obviously okay, for okay. gate i completed but for semester i never completed 100% of any subjects i just completed 70 to 80% of those subjects and tried to focus on the 80% very beautiful so that i can came across all the and and all the questions that are asked from those topics as well like in jadavpur university 50% question get repeated every year so for the 50% question we get in i we get the idea and the rest 50% 50% include some derivation some question some numerical question so it not that much difficult so for every for those subjects for every class test i used to div- divide in two three days and for nsem i used the same for nsem it was about 5 to 6 days so i believe that 10 to 12 weeks is enough if you learn it properly for those subjects so if someone wants to just get a decent grade in semester so about 2 to 3 weeks is very much enough to pass the semester yes it depends for as for chemical engineering i even said 2 to 3 is enough 2 to 3 weeks is enough enough all right so a very important question if someone is not that much uh, rich or he is of poor background he wants to st- uh, prepare for gate exam chemical engineering so what kind of free resources do you suggest him to b- bring a very high rank as like you free so resources i will say su- that i will suggest him that there are to be honest the 12 subjects that are in gate in chemical engineering all the resources are available on youtube okay so there is a pyq book he can buy the pyq book it's not that much costly he can buy any pyq book and start preparing from those youtube lecture from the and and i believe that he will end up in under 100 rank for sure and if you are from chemical engineering you can directly text me and i can give you my notes for free my gate notes that all right all right you have all the notes of gate uh, yes yes i have all the notes and the so i to be honest i didn't follow that much of books Uh, what I did is that I go got the academy notes and sometimes I mm. used to self self write the what the topics are there and I prepared from those. So my gate journey has mostly consists of my notes and academy notes. So that's why I didn't follow that much of any book or any any material of coaching institute. I just followed the academy notes that given by the lecture the faculties and my self written notes. Mm. That's how All I right, prepared. Right. Another most important thing that I came across in my preparation was that the PYQs are very very much important. so hmm. for every subject i will suggest you to do each pyq 3 to 4 times right so like if you divide the gate preparation for one year now if you start preparing for february 2024 and you have gate in hmm. february 2025 i will suggest you that do one pyqs in fourth gaps like first, first time do pyqs of subjects at may second hmm. time at july third time at october and fourth time at december january period so what happens is that when you when you are doing the pyq for the first time hmm. you will see that you are You you can attempt five out of ten PYQs. You cannot attempt all of the PYQs. It's quite normal and is no need to worry. Obviously. For the second time, when you do it, you will see that you are attempting seven to eight questions out of ten. Still, mm-hmm. you will miss one to two. It's quite normal. And the third time when you are doing, you will find some silly mistakes of the questions. You will come across some new concept and you will end up doing nine out of ten questions. Mm-hmm. There was there will be some one question that no one can solve. There are three questions. Okay. And for the last time when you do in do January, you will see you are. the questions you are solving very easily and not only that but also your time gap will be very very much less like for the for the first time when you solve the question it will take 2 to 3 minutes and when the fourth time you will you do the same question it will took 
no, nothing nothing more than 20 seconds you can solve it within 20 seconds as well and in gate in gate and in com any competitive exams i can say that the concept gets repeated it's not that question can always get repeated question but concept is repeated concept yes. is same there is nothing concept out of the world there is no rocket science in any subject Obviously. concept is same Con concept is same the still in fluid mechanics there is there will be always bernoulli there will be always palm there is nothing different in heat transfer there will be always conduction convection radius and there are no external things of heat transfer mm -hmm. as well and for mathematics mathematics is simple mathematics and aptitude that are asking that if yes. you complete the syllabus properly then no don't need to worry just focus on the concept focus on the subject and do numericals mm -hmm. as well like another thing i can suggest you that the for gate exam mean enhance your question man try to solve at least 300 to 400 questions of every subjects in one oh, year journey it's not possible to 300 in solve 300 questions in one day or one month take one one year time and solve it yes so uh, uh, preparation from notes and youtube uh, videos and previous year question practice now let's come to about mock test how how can someone give mock test in free of cost yes so so mock test in free of cost to be honest i didn't give mock test free of cost there are very much institutes available that would be mock test to be honest the price are very nominal there is no that it's not 500 5000 6000 rupees cost the cost are mostly 500 to 600 or 1000 for so how many mock tests are how many mock tests are available in 500 rupees so in there, there is entire package of 500 or 1000 to be honest i am saying that it's 1000 rupees and i am telling that there will be mock tests like topic wise tests like for each subject there are very few topics so topics on that test they are followed by the subject wise tests like there are 12 subjects there will be multiple tests of those subjects mm -hmm. and and then the most very important thing of chemical engineering or any test or any subject the full length test full length test are very very vital thing Obviously. i can say that uh, in any mock test there can there are a minimum 20 full length tests available and if you solve 20 20 full length tests i guarantee you that you will be under 100 rank i can guarantee you that or because i i have given it and i have gone gone, gone through the process two times in my gate yes. 2023 and gate 2024 i right? gave across 20 to 25 test series in 20 to 25 full length test in 2023 and this year i have doubled it and it was about 40 to 45 full length test series so if you do full length test series and can i can guarantee you i can write you in in my i can promise you that you will be in a top 100 top 100 in gate in any of the departments yes. right now all right so, so is uh, do you know about any books which which may help in the in the gate preparation or some books which contain mock test do you know something about that so can you repeat the question the switch my, uh, my question is that can you suggest some books if, if required for grade preparation and also if, if is there any book for mock test also like right. for chemical engineering i can say hmm. some of books like m subbu there are very famous book set of m subbu and ram prasad and khanna's objective chemistry hmm. there are very few books you are very essential in chemical yeah. engineering and mostly the the PYQ book by Mildi. So yeah. that's the best PYQ book I have seen. So is there is there, there any mock test books? Is there any yes, book in, Ram, mock test? in Ram Prasad object chemistry book? There are some mock tests available in those. But I will still suggest you to keep the mock test not in book format but in test in format. In computer like format, yes. Yes, in in CB, as CBT mode, like standing in in before the computer because it yeah. will really help you in your Real time exam. management mm. and your consistency as well because when you are solving through books then you have ample amount of time you can solve it for four hours for five hours mm. for six hours for whole day you can take nap in between you can lunch in between but when you are given in computer based test you have only three hours for that there will no extra calculator there will no external help it will be just you your concept mm. and calculator so that's what matters the most because yes. in the gate exam there will be there will be no extra calculator only virtual calculator and your computer so so it, everything was discussed about the great preparation and how to score a good rank now let's talk about what can you achieve by clearing gate many people know many people don't know please say something about that. what kind of heights can you achieve by scoring a very good gate rank so get there there are various lines that we can go to gate lines that the most the, the most widely known that is known between students are the doing mtech from very much iits and iiscs like hmm. so i got chance in iit bombay this year in chemical engineering mtech so the, you can get chance in various iits like iit bombay iit madras all of the iits and iiscs through, through your through your decent gate rank if your rank is under top 100 or top 200 you will definitely be in, hmm. in iit bombay iit bombay will in will welcome you and another most important thing that was my passion was the psu jobs 
So oh. PSU the at the public sector undertaking job, that are government job. So we all know the beauty of the government jobs. No mm. one denies, no one can deny the beauty of yes. the government job. Mm. So high package government job recruits to um, the gate exam. Like there are very much PSUs. For chemical engineering, I may say that the PSUs are IOCL, ONGC, BARC. We all know about BARC, mm. NPCIL, and DRD also. We all know about DRDO. Mm. Sometimes ISRO also recruits to the gate exam, and sometimes ISRO also makes their own exam for the mm. recruitment. And that's uh, there are. Unknown, there are also very much PSU that I cannot name here because there are in more number of PSU like NFL, RCFL, FAT. Yeah. So, 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 so some of the some of the popular ones are IOCL, ONGC, and yeah. EIL are, are the popular. For, ones. For, for a for a chemical engineer perspective, IOCL and ONGC are the most desired one because everyone um, chooses to end up there. IOCL, ONGC, and also GAIL and EIL also are one of the best PSUs. All right. So if if someone needs to uh, Uh, get a job in IOCL, ONGC, or GAIL. How much rank he has to score in GAIL? To, to be honest, it depends every every year based on the vacancy. But if I take an average and assumption that if you score under one one hundred, it's a safe score for your IOCL. And sometimes if the vacancy is too much too much less, like in COVID year, what we have seen that the vacancy was very less, like five to six vacancy available or ten to twelve vacancy available. Mm. That time it was really think of worry, but Now, as the COVID is over, the surge is over, and now the vacancies are 120 plus vacancies, 130 plus vacancies. Two years back in 2022, we saw 300 plus vacancies as well. 300. So it's a mix. So I will still suggest the target so that you can end up in top 100 rank because in, if you are under top 100, you will definitely end up in any of the PSU for sure. Yeah, for because sure. You, yes. So in 2023, you scored such a high gate rank. Your confidence also was so high that time. After that, did you ever thought of getting a decent enough placement just in case if something happens anywhere? Did you prepare for any placement? Yes, yes, yes obviously I prepared. I prepared for my placement because what happens is that the for PSU recruitment the only the that year gate score is valid because as I was in third year in 2023. My gate score, my gate scorecard was not valid for 90% of the PSU. So mm. I had to again prepare for gate, again prepare for a good rank. So for me, a placement decision was very much necessary. It was necessary for me to get a job because the only thing I could achieve through that my rank in 2023 was my M Tech in various yes, yes. IITs. So for placement, I had to prepare for my placement decision as well. And so I prepared for mostly I prepared the aptitudes and the numerical parts of all the subjects and mm. then. You practice aptitude um, from what kind of resources did you practice aptitude? I practice aptitude. There is a website called the IndiaBigs.com. Yes. I, I practice aptitude from that. The 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 very much various wide range of aptitudes Questions. are available there. Oh. The verbal aptitude, the quant, the very much various things like the train questions, the oh. questions of age, blood relations, everything is available there. So I just called that daily and thank you. So, I got placed in September. So. So after the, after preparation in third year, during the start of the fourth year, the placement season begins. Please share some something some insights about your pl- placement season, about what kind of companies you sat for and your re- interview and way experience. So thankfully, I I hadn't to be sat for various companies because I just got the place I got my placement in September. But till then, I sat for two companies, namely Exxon Mobil and PwC. In Exxon Mobil, I I was up to the interview round, and by and somehow for some reason I got rejected in the final round. And for PwC, I was thankfully got the job in PwC. In can you PwC share the round. if you do, do not mind? Can you share the interview experience of Exxon Mobil? Okay, no 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 worry, I I will share. So as Exxon Mobil is mostly based on the is mostly core company, so the it the the all the I prepared for the core topics like the palm heat exchanger. And very simple distillation column that are mostly used for chemical engineering. And there was firstly an way down that is most important. There is every component that conducts way down. Most of yeah. the components conduct yes. way down. The way down that the mostly way down had two parts like the new the aptitude part and second was technical part. In aptitude yeah. part there was verbal questions, quant questions, etc. That are available. And in technical yeah. part that were questions that are from chemical engineering. Okay. Yeah. So from the, those parts the it the How was the, the uh, how was the level of the questions in Exxon Mobil technical? The OA the OA part of every the every company is very much basic. If you learn if you have any basic knowledge of in your in engineering curriculum, you will 
thankfully cleared the way, way. It is not a big deal to be honest. And so I the six students from chemical engineering cleared the way. So I wasn't too that much wrong. And but sadly only one student got the opportunity to Exxon Mobil and five was were rejected. So but the after way down there was a GD round, group discussion round. Group so discussion. GD is a, a very important thing that I can suggest you that um, because most of the companies conduct group discussion round and the, the group discussion round is not not about how you debate or how you talk. Mm -hmm. It's just about how you listen to it, how you cooperate with others. That is mm -hmm. tip I can give you for for the group discussion. Group GD round. And after the GD round, we were qualified for the interview round. And so interview round, there was the question was in, in the interview round. Also, the question was a bit of HR questions like why do you want the job or what are your strain, what are your weaknesses, followed by some technical questions like what is NPSH, what is farm car. So it was like an interview. That's how it happened. And after Exxon Mobil, the next company that I had for PwC. What are your PwC experience and how how was your experience in that and what the kind of questions he asked in the interview? Look, the, there are various types of consultants in the company. I will not go that in much deep because the if I for PwC, the PwC always likes to take students who have great knowledge in the in their own engineering curriculum. Hmm. They do not think about how does how many language the students know, like C, C plus plus Python. They don't take that much of thing. They just check your CV, but that your CV is right or wrong. Hmm. If your CV is accurate, like for example, I can say you that if there is any student who ha who have no idea in C plus plus, but he, if he still right C plus plus in his CV, the PwC, the interviewers will cross check that. So, yeah. okay, so that what it happened. So, you just write what you have done in in your engineering curriculum. Like yeah. in every engineering courses, I believe that the, in first year there are CPNM subjects, the, the basic C, the, the, where yeah. the basic C and C plus plus are taught. So, one, in my CV, that was written like that. See, they asked me from my C, the C language, I, I shared my answer. It was right. And mostly the question they asked me for was from the basic. Microsoft Excel level and some some numerical questions of the aptitude types. Mm. Okay, and then fo followed by that round, th there was some mm, partner round as well. In the second round was partner round, where the partner there are in PwC there are various partners. You, it's a very deep thing. I will go in details later about what is what the partner do, does. But th the partner inter interviews you and asks you various questions. So in that part, the technical questions were asked. Like they asked me about the the difference between first law of thermodynamics and second law of thermodynamics, okay. how Carnot cycle works and the question was very very much more into technical rather than the analytics. Okay. These, these are very basic questions, means first law of yes, thermodynamics, uh, yes. Yes, the questions are, the, in any in interview the questions are very very basic, I can, I can tell you. They don't necessarily, uh, they don't necessarily ask you anything from rocket science, like yes. in interview they just take how much you have learned knowledge and how can you grasp the question, like, yes, yes. like they, when they ask me what is the second law of thermodynamics, they, they were yeah. seeing that how much gap I take between the question and the answer. Like if I am taking too long gap or I'm just answering the, the at that very moment. So they, they check the confidence level and how much we know it. Okay, so in the third round, it was purely HR round. They asked me where, where I live, 12, 10 marks, 12 marks. And thankfully, it was about 8 p.m. in the night, the result was declared and I got the job in PwC. Yes. So many of my friends also got the job in yes. PwC. It was a dream day. It was a very good time. You are very happy after that, obviously. Yes, obviously. And so collectively, we can say that to crack a company like PwC, you have to be good in your own curriculum and whatever okay. is written in the CV, you have to be strong in that. So this basic is Microsoft Excel, they have a basic idea okay. of Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, etc. Okay. And if you, oh, you all know about basic of programming, do we all do know like C, some C++, yes, some yes, yes. that's how it works. So coming to the, uh, coming to this and question. Another thing I want to say that okay. the way down is most important round. Okay, like, okay. but in our best, more than eight eight hundred students applied for PwC in the way down. Okay, but yes, in the yes, next yes. second round, only one fifty students are qualified. So that's where the major difficult one. Yes. And in the second interview round, from one fifty to eighty percent, one is one fifty to eighty students were there. Means seventy more got cut. Okay. Got cut. But in the third round, there was no innovation. Eighty students got placed. Okay, okay. So okay. that's how I can say that the OA is very much important in any very company. Just try to clear the OA. So coming to this question, uh, what is a, what is actually a consultancy company? What does a consultant do actually? Many people do not have the idea of what a consultant does. So the, the job of the consultant is very, very much depends on the what the role he gives. Like in PwC, I may not go will not go in that much deep, but there are some roles like data analytics part, in Microsoft part. There are many people like app tech, 
application technology so they, the very role that is given to the person he just takes the various alternatives available could so discuss with the company do some major project and comes to the verdict that which will be profitable which will be loss how can co companies do something like some how can company invest in some x how much amount of invest some y so that's how a consultancy works like to consult about various companies like pwc does the work does the work with various companies from the us also in india it will it, it works with reliance adani is also in myanmar in various in we all know that the pwc is one of the big four companies like pwc yes, yes. developer kpmg anyway so all the most to the so as a as a whole you can say that you have to uh, do some strategic analysis in yes, yes, in yes. a company and for that you have you have the, the knowledge that that required they take care of your own that like at this point they have sent me various course that i yes. need to learn like i am currently learning microsoft power bi and there yes. are various course like also some ibm courses and agile technology they very as a so there are the microsoft courses that they take care of mm. yes microsoft they take care of that you don't need to worry there they they allot some times and projects for to do in the training period and that all right, how we all learn right. all right all right so after everything do you want to add anything extra uh, anything any anything you have to add, add to the future aspirants in get chemical look uh, yes i just want to say that the, do, don't be too much nervous because don't think that you are lower than enough because you we all have the capability to be best we all have the capability to to success because in because i was also from bengali medium there are various mm. things available that the students from bengali mediums are not that much too good in english they mm. can crack big jobs they can crack they can do some good work but it's not like that we bengal students from bengali medium can well can be well in english can be well in spoken english they can crack good jobs so don't need to worry just prepare for your yes passion follow your passion and prepare for what is best for you and all the best whoever watching this yes yes so it was a very very great pleasure to have you in our channel so thanks a lot if you have or to the, all the viewers uh, do you, if you have any kind of doubt you can dm him in linkedin i will give the link in the description so it will not be a problem so again thanks a lot to uh, join in our channel and thank you